mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied, as she locked Isaac in his room, away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God. You've done as I'd asked. But I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled.
morning. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by. You know, it could be better, but you, you know, just doing the best I can. Appreciate you for asking. Yeah, it, it, it'd be tough out there some days, you know? Just do the best we can. Appreciate you for stopping by, hanging out. I don't mind being background noise. Didn't mean to go in here, but you know, we're, we're in here now, so. All right. Unfortunate.
If you can't compete, you can't eat. And you know eat rhymes with sweet, and I'm gorgeous over here, boy. We honeybees over here. That is true, MX. Thank you. We are honeybees. Um... Ooh. I'm not super happy about them, but... Book of Revelations is nice.
guess stapler's good too. don't meet the criteria for the door opening back up, so this is going to be we're about to die. Which is a little unfortunate, but you know. Thank you. No, no, I'm, I'm dying in this room. If I survive, it won't be by much. Cause this is, um, this room was not meant to be played like this. This game wasn't meant to be played like this, let's be fair. Yeah, because look at yeah, it's just, well, guys, just you're gonna have to work with me here. Mm. Oh yeah, otherwise it wouldn't have been an issue at all. This this room isn't that bad at it. It's just a regular room. But not being able to only shooting right is making this more difficult than it probably would be otherwise. No worries. Um, a lot of the time I don't read titles either. Little Boss Gaming, good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you for the cute corgi emote. Not to say that your emotes aren't also cute, but corgi. Corgis be like that. That's unfortunate. on the bright side here. I got Book of Revelations in the basement. So assuming we beat Depths 1, I'm gonna have myself a meat boy. And that's good by itself. Like, if you don't have anything else, that's, that's just good by itself. That's the only thing you have that's good. And this battery is gonna help. Gotta be hopeful. We gotta, you know, things could get better. Make another pass through the rooms just in case I, um, um, 
two more money or one more room, we get another soul heart. So let's just go back and look to see if we missed anything. Look at that. All that health we would have missed otherwise. Yeah, I survived, but it was uh, it was a very unfortunate room to be in. Apologize, my um, chat for whatever reason stopped updating. Um, you know, I've been I've been doing okay. As, as okay as I can be doing, I, I suppose. Hope you've been doing well. You know, I'm doing the best I can, if nothing else. Oh, that's not good. See, you want those, um... Oh god, I can't, I, I don't even have a, a joke for it, I just thought it was funny, that little box and little boss sound so similar. I'm tired, I'm sorry. Oh god, alright. But, um, yeah, you need those, those are important if you're gonna... Those are where you get all the, the big points from. I think you get one of those every, like, ten minutes or something, right? That's a very dumb mistake. You like jazz? Me. You like jazz? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try though, little boss. I'm gonna do the best I can. You know, we'll, we'll just see how that goes. That's a weird thing to say. Whip. Apologize for that. I'm trying to cheer up, you know? Being, I mean, no one chooses to be upset, I'm sure. Wow, that's not true either. I'm not trying to be upset, and if I could choose to stop, I'm sure I would, but you know, there's nothing you can do about it. We're just going to keep going, and we're going to play some Isaac, and we're going to talk with some friends, and you know, we're going to do the best we can. Ouch. Fortunately, I think those show up every like 10 minutes, so you shouldn't have to wait very long for another one to pop up. a very fortunate bomb because we got the um that gold chest had plenty of good stuff in it and we even had a crawl space and while this item isn't ideal i believe it'll let us um go over spikes if we have to or something similar ouch Well, I wasn't even thinking about that. I I 
never used this item, so I wasn't even thinking about that. Got some bombs for that beggar, too, if we feel so inclined, but I'll take two, so we're gonna see. It really just depends on how, how good my timing is, because I promise you we're about to take damage. fair to myself. The only reason we took damage there was because um, if the red chest has a pedestal item in it, the red the, the chest itself won't move like it normally would. Like, you can push a chest around, it'll move. If they have a pedestal item in them, like this one here, you'll see this one doesn't move. That's the only reason we took damage there. It blocked us from passing through the spikes like we normally would have. But at the same time, I'm okay taking damage if it means we got two guppy items out of that room. So that's fine, I, I don't mind that. It'll be alright. We, um, are out of soul hearts, but that, that actually helped us out. Two guppy items, I mean. And there we go. Got our soul heart back. That is a mimic chest, you can tell because the bottom right corner of that chest has a blood stain. That's how you know. But with this item, I wasn't even thinking. There we go. So that's in incredibly helpful if you time it right. Before we give the money to the beggar, let's see if we can find a shop on this floor somewhere. And... Beggars are usually good for health upgrades, but we do, like, we do want to see if there's a shop somewhere. Well, let's, let's wait on that. Well, oops. Oh, that's just very unfortunate. You know, it's too bad. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, two, um, two of those three red chests were, were items, and that actually, that is rare. Unlikely. You're much more likely to just get troll bombs. Oh, beautiful, actually. That is... Oh my goodness, that is actually wonderful. And we got the box. That's going to help out quite a bit. There we go. 
And with this item, since I can only shoot right, this is actually an incredible item for me. And OBS disconnected, that's unfortunate. it's back reconnected so I apologize for that it, it seems like it only drops during the day so it's, it's been a while since that happened I apologize yeah, and that so sorry about that um, I was gonna say though the benefit of this item is if I can only shoot right I can just hold it down and keep it keep it maxed out Let's go fight the boss. And probably go talk to that beggar. Oh dang, my bad. Yeah, we left the shop and we about went straight to the treasure room. So it was actually a short walk. I apologize for that. It's probably not your internet, it's mine. If mine was going to disconnect like that. shouldn't have got because we were at like six percent right that's probably true too there we go we got our shot speed back up and oh my goodness so we'll no longer be able to angle our shots like we would have We got brimstone. One sec, my cat's at my door. going for Mega Brimstone because that would mean we have to give up our Book of Revelations. And if we use the Book of Revelations on the next floor, we're going to get uh, war. And killing war means we get a Meat Boy. So that's going to help us out incredibly. And then if we kill the uh, death, we get a Super Meat Boy. So like, yeah, I don't, I really don't want to give that up, especially because we've got the, um, um, both that little battery and the car battery it's going to help us out with our health because now we're down to two red hearts and I'm not worried about offense we're going to do plenty of damage with this mostly I'm bummed out about now I can't shoot diagonally but that's we're going to have to figure that out
Well, I mean, that's not true. If I try hard enough, I guess I can do that with, um, <laughs> that meat head, I suppose. Until the end of the next floor, anyway. We're going to be going for that meat boy. Yeah, like this here, this is not ideal. Ouch. Can I? No, that's not going to work. But meathead can. So yeah, that's the situation I was talking about. I'm not happy about, but we'll deal with it. <laughs> I'm just too good. Thank you, but I disagree. Either way, with that car battery, every time we use the Book of Revelations, we get um, two soul hearts now, so that's very nice. Hey, fantastic. I do want you guys to have points. That's where, that's how we have fun, you know? does mean I can't use my um, Euphoria anymore, which is a little bum I'm a little bummed out about, but Brimstone makes up for that. You know, Brimstone be like that. Alright, yeah, let's go do um, that. So if we're going to blow up one of these rocks, let's see if we can pinpoint if one of these rooms is a uh, secret room. Uh, Tears of Happiness. It, it's interesting. It actually... Um, well, I mean, it's a good item. I, I, I like it. Especially for the purposes of this. It's very helpful. Okay, so it can't be the one on the left, but it can be this one, so it might not be, but if we're going to be putting a bomb there anyway, we may as well at least check the wall, and it just so happened to be the case, so that's, that's nice. I mean, thank you. I, I disagree, but thank you. I appreciate that. It's nice of you to say. I just... Oh, see, I'm an idiot. I meant to put down that Wheel of Fortune before I dropped that bomb, but... I mean, wasting one bomb, I guess. That's All it means is we're going to waste one more bomb than we would have. And the fact that we got into that... Uh, really? That's fine. The fact that we got into that secret room is um, helpful enough. I don't mind the bomb even being over there because if we're going to blow up this Wheel of Fortune anyway, we may as well just destroy those rocks also. So that's fine. Alright, well... Good to go. I need to grab that card though, don't I? Yeah, I do. Let's see if we can snag this without taking damage. I'm probably gonna take damage. Another Wheel of Fortune. That is just. Ooh! Alright. We 
Is there anything else in here? Okay. Yeah. The Hierophant. I will accept that. Yeah, it's um that that's a little more particular because um I I've done that a couple times too. And um you really just have to learn the exact size of an explosion. It's 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 really just something you pick up on. Because um, even though you can move diagonally, you can think of these maps as being uh, divided by squares. You see how each um, the skull, the rocks, the room hazards, everything takes up one square. And if you start thinking about them like that. It helps tremendously. So, a bomb, if, if placed perfectly in the middle of a square, why'd I do that? Can, um, there we go. It can, um, blow up a 5x5 five five diamond. Um, but normally it'll blow up a 3x3. Three three, or I guess 4x4. Four yeah, 4x4, four four, my bad, I apologize. It, it can do 5x5, five five, but usually it'll be 4x4. Four four. No, yeah, they, they got a little bit of a range to them. But no shame in that. Like I said, I've accidentally blown some up as well. Happens. Ouch. So the one on that top wall that's shooting at me, you'll notice he doesn't have any eyes. So the other ones will follow you around. They will go left or right if you go left or right. Those ones just back and forth randomly. So we just gotta wait for him to move to the right a little bit. I could, I just feel like it's not worth the effort. I just had to wait for him to move to the right a little bit. You know? It's a uh, lesson in patience. I'm trying to get more patient. Yeah, I've got quite a few soul hearts, don't I? I'm telling you, that car battery helps quite a bit. There we go. We took, um, quite a bit of money out of the machine this run and I think we're strong enough to win now so I figure I can just pay it forward to one of the next runs um blood clot is okay it's a, it, I mean it, it's a okay stat upgrade nothing Tremendous. Miles is yelling at me. Miles, I love you. Why are you yelling at me? How? How do I? How am I missing these guys? Can they just jump over the beam now? Is that a thing I didn't know about? I mean, apparently. Or my aim sucks one or the other. Oh, um, cloth. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's, um, it really just depends. But yeah, usually. Not sure if we used the... I've got to have used the Book of Revelations at some point on this floor, right? 
But let's see if we can find the curse room and then use it. So if I use it now, it'll be a waste, so let's see if we can find the curse room first. Treasure room. So let's go for that. And we got a couple gold chests to open at once, and if we got enough keys. The curse room is free. We've already figured that out, thanks to your help, and I, I, I forgot about it already. Uh, Miles is still yelling at me. What is it, Papa? just uh, woke up from his nap so he just wants to snuggle. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, it's free assuming I can time it right. Drop bad stuff. What a, I'm sorry, but you drop bad stuff. I, I, like I've had this conversation with him before. Like if, if I'm going to be giving you my soul, you, you can at least offer some decent. Well, he he did just give us brimstone, I suppose. So like, yeah. Nicer if the room was the other way around. Uh, have we found the we haven't even found the treasure room yet, yeah. Luxby, good morning. Hope you've been having a nice day. Taking care of yourself. I uh, appreciate you, just in general, but also um, for stopping by. Uh, Miles just woke up, so he's been yelling at me. You may hear him for that, and oh my god, really. Okay, well, you know, we weren't meant to have nice things, that's okay. Well, yeah, I'm talking about you, you're yelling at me, it, you know? He woke up from his nap, he just wants to snuggle. Nothing wrong with that, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of streaming right now. Ouch! Well, I mean, that, that means we can do that, I suppose. Well, that's not good. No, I mean, it's not bad either, because now we're just immune to 
shot speed being affected, Miles. If you're gonna cause a problem, you can get off my desk. Oh my goodness. Kids, kids are, you know, I, I love him dearly. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. I forgot, that's why we have so many gold chests we picked up that tail, that is... Uh, Alright, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Why don't we kill the boss? Because then we would have our meat boy, right? Let's do that. Oh, me. I apologize. Usually singular is Lux B here and I'm plural bees. Thank you. This is uh, Necropolis 1, so this isn't Mom. This is going to be War. Which means we get a lovely whoop. Alright. You want to burn yourself on the fire, buddy? You'd be my guest. All right, however you want to do it. Ooh, he's faster than me, though, isn't he? Miles, you're not being very supportive right now. Okay, we got our meat boy. Everything he can right now. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but he's doing everything he can right now. He he's wonderful, and I love him. Yeah, Mom's floor is after this one. He is wonderful, and I love him. But yeah, he just um, yeah. He's, um, he alternates between being really sweet and cuddly and just being a monster. Like, I guess when he's being a monster, he just um, wants to cuddle. He's just a lot more loud and, and obnoxious about it. Like, he'll knock stuff over and he'll yell at you. So, yeah. Oh yeah, that, that was the goal here. We got um, the Book of Revelations on the first floor. So, we could have Super Meat Boy for the mom fight. And I say could because um, while the Book of Revelations summons a horseman, if possible, it could still summon Conquest instead of Death. In which case, Conquest doesn't give you a cube of meat. But if nothing else, we will have this regular Meat Boy that we have here. Lots of chests we can't open, but you know, that's just how it goes. Oh, we, we, we could find the uh, secret room though, couldn't we? Hold on. Let's see if we can find the secret room. I don't believe I have enough money for it, unfortunately. Not that I even really, like, I, I can't even really use it. It doesn't work for the uh, world card as far as I know. I've got nothing, no, no reason to have it. Like, I'd rather have it than not have it, but at the same time, a little bit of money is probably better. That is true. Either way, I don't have enough money for it. Oh, you mean to get the money for 
for the cloth. Gotcha. Say, I don't even really want the cloth, to be honest with you. I don't even think that'll work with brimstone, will it? I guess we'll see. They, they, they've recently made it so brimstone synergizes with most things. But if this um, brimstone beam destroyed incoming shots now, I would be surprised. But I guess like they did change a lot of stuff. So that's possible. I mean, if I wanted to, I could just blow up the um, donation machine and get enough money for the tarot cloth. I, I really don't want it. I guess we'll see though. The um, Lost Contact is one of my favorite items, it's very nice. It'll be alright. My brimstone even lights the room up. And now we got Meat Boy, so Meat Boy's gonna make this whole thing so much better. I mean, if we're being fair, all, all of the curses are annoying. Just, that's just how they are. Honestly, I think I'd rather have this one than most of the other ones. Because they did, they did change the way darkness works. of the like unknown is very very frustrating oops get a meat boy Curses are just annoying, but honestly, I think I'd rather have this one. Besides the fact that I don't see doors sometimes, I didn't even know this arcade was over here until I looked at my map. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Sure. took the hit, but to be fair, he did have a soul heart laying around anyway, as well as our our book, so we're not hard up for health. I, just, I really wanted to hit them while they were lined up because um, while it was probably unnecessary, I thought it would be fun. we do. But if nothing else, we do have the treasure room to look forward to. And we can find um, if there is a secret room. Oh, you're just a blessing. Oh, look at you. Oh, man. 
He's a miracle and I love him. I mean... This is probably going to make me take damage, but we're going to do it anyway. Ooh. And now it even... Ooh, okay. Yeah, you know, that's probably a good idea. Why not? Got no reason not to. This is um, not to get hit by these things. Um, keys, but yeah, I guess that's, you know, you're never guaranteed. Okie doke, I appreciate it, MX. Thank you for stopping by and uh, keeping me company like you have been. Uh, we'll see you around, I'm sure. No, no harm done. It, it, we're only disappointed because we have all these gold chests lying around. If we didn't have them lying around, we would be perfectly content with all of the good stuff we have. Right? I mean, that's, that's pretty factual, right? This guy could give us keys though, couldn't he? I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm an idiot. It's my bad. The devil. Some 
fortunate. That's more fortunate. We can get done with the mob fight and leave and heal if we have to. Or if we want to. It's nice. We're very lucky. These, um, this next gold chest will have a key in it. Hey, there we go. You like it when you're lucky, that's that's what you want. That is, that is you know, you try. Hmm. See, that's tempting, but like... Got, I got another idea. Wonderful. So if that didn't give me any keys, I was going to take my last key and go in there and open the mimic chest that's in there. And hope for that key, but now we don't have to, I suppose. Our tier stat. Be happy about that. Yeah, look at that. It's fine. Two more keys. Could go into the shop. There's not much use with six coins, so we're just going to give those to um, the beggar and then go fight mom. Say hi to her. And then if, you know, hopefully we win because that's what we're trying to do, but you, you never know. rocks. Oh. Yes. And now we are guppy. Which is just wonderful. Um, if I'm gonna trade away this thing anyway, it doesn't really matter if I buy it for one red or three soul, so. There we go. Wonderful. Fantastic. Um, bummed out I didn't grab the um, Whore of Babylon earlier, but you know, we, we didn't know. That's perfectly fine. Can I grab this without picking up the health? There we go. So, I believe we've got a little bit of soul health laying around. Let's go grab that and be on our way. should 
Unless they changed the rules, that used to mean I could go into this boss challenge room. Right, they did change the rules though, didn't they? That's fine. It'll be alright. It used to be as long as you didn't have more than one red heart, you could go into those. Um, but it was changed, so now it counts soul hearts as well. does it for us. We could go into the shop. Um, best case scenario then would just be bumping into greed, but he wouldn't give us anything we want anyway. So let's get out of here. I think we're doing pretty alright. Well, that was unfortunate. But also not the end of the world. Actually, that's probably a good idea because um, with that goat head, we're going to spawn a devil room at the end of this floor. Now we got something to barter, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, so that's actually a good thing. We're gonna accept that as a good thing. Seems like that one's too scared to get close to me, which is funny. So not used to flying, I just reflexively stop when I come up to some spikes. said this before, I, I miss music, um, the music from the original game. Um, I think the best example of that is the womb here because um, I, I don't dislike any of the new music, I just greatly prefer the old stuff. And that's actually a lie because there's one track I don't like for all of the new music and that's this one. It's very boring. This womb track, let me, I'm gonna bump it up a second. It's just very dull. Just very boring. In the original game, yeah, like, the, the boom track was like, ooh, it slapped. It was a good one. Ooh.
things seem to be going well. We've already used the Book of Revelation, so we would... So we're going to have death or conquest regardless, but at the same time, Guppy's head gives me more damage output with these flies. The book gives me longevity. With this book, essentially, I'm very close to unkillable. Wow. I could bumble really hard, but... Our, our damage output right now is all is already really nice. We're, we're gonna just make sure we don't die. Especially, yeah, like between Brimstone, um, we're already spawning f flies. Like, we're already spawning flies. And we've got Brimstone and Meat Boy, like, our damage output right now is perfectly fine. I suppose now is when we're going to find out if we've got death or conquest. Yeah, especially with that little battery and the car battery. Um, having the Book of Revelations is just so much more useful. Hey, we did get death. Uh, I think this unlocks Bandage Girl then, doesn't it? using it, but, like, I've got no reason not to grab it. I guess it, I mean, it's one of those things I'd rather have than not have, I suppose. Okay, let's get out of here. Last floor. And I've even got a map to use for that. And we're going to just butcher the heart. This is not going to be a, a fair fight. And I'm okay with that. I, you know, uh, that is perfectly fine. I think you can go over rocks. You can go over rocks. Okay. Just making the most out of my um, ability to fly. Hey, good morning. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I recognize I say that all the time, and I want you to know I mean it. You're a good guy. Oh, it's not good. I actually just made some coffee if you want some. Sometimes you'd be tired though, that's how it is. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, I mean sometimes if you're tired enough, the only the only cure is is getting some rest, you know? At a certain point, coffee just doesn't cut it anymore. Which is unfortunate. I think we've all got a story where we went to go drink more coffee and it only just made us shakier. Snow, you need to get some sleep or try to. I usually cannot, but you know, that's why God invented sleeping pills. So that's what we're doing for that. Oh, geez, yeah, you know, you gotta make sure you get some rest. You said you, um, you had said you'd gotten off, um, work one of these days and you got quite a bit of um, uh, chores done. 
which is very um, satisfying to do, but at the same time, yeah, you gotta make sure you get enough sleep to match. our way into Satan right now, but that's, we don't actually need to fight Satan for the purposes of this challenge. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. So it means we just got out of there that room without having to wait for the um, needle thing to proc which I mean you know slight convenience I suppose if nothing else it didn't hurt us in any way oh, we are dominating right now in fact this is the very end here this room here is going to be the last boss and then we're going to be done with this run. So that being said, I don't want to use the book now because that would mean we waste one of the two soul hearts we get. But I don't want to go in there without 12 hearts, so... Yoink! And it's most likely not going to come up like we're probably just about to dominate this fight and it'll be over very quickly but you know never go easy on your enemies go all out you know you, you start um phoning it in you know you, you go on go on autopilot and all of a sudden you're taking damage that you didn't mean to take you ever notice how the bad guys in anime always lose because they underestimate the hero there you go have that. Whoop. Well, it was close, but we managed. And I don't want to win without being at full health, so. There we go. I probably got time for another run. I'd be surprised if I didn't. I don't know how many more, um... <laughs> you know, I don't remember seeing that unlock for Epicac before. They either added that recently or I just, my memory is atrocious. That's also maybe it. I keep doing that, don't I? I pushed the wrong button. Alright, um, I've got another hour and ten minutes, so... You know, I could run, in a, run a little bit late. I think we got time for another run. I don't know how many more runs I need until we unlock, um... The Blue Womb, but, um... Another one, probably, maybe, today. We'll see. Hopefully. Hour 10 minutes I got to. Well, I mean, hour 10, hour 20, somewhere around there. It'll be alright if I run a little bit late. I just gotta get to the bank and the pharmacy before they close, so it should be alright. Got medicine to pick up. Medicine to pick up and potentially McDonald's or something because that's uh, 
That sounds like a nice thing to do today. Fast food is very comforting for me. It's like my comfort food. I like mac and cheese, I like ice cream. Fast food is just always make, makes me happy inside. Which is funny because it probably does terrible things to my insides. But you know, I actually hit my weight loss goal and I've kept, kept my weight loss, um, or my weight at that goal for like the last month. So I'm gonna treat myself, that's okay. Gotta do them banky things. Yeah, I got a um, I got a Twitch check to to put in, and then ca uh, medicine rather. Twitch just keeps sending me money, and I I don't understand why, but I'm not gonna question it. Um. My, my well, my goal was to break two hundred because when it when I when I was at my heaviest, I was about two thirty. 230s somewhere in there a little bit over maybe and I realized I'm like yeah I need to start losing weight I'm 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 chunky my I, I walk everywhere because I don't drive and I was having this like thigh chafing that I'm sure none of you want to hear about that was incredibly painful and if you walk everywhere yeah it's an issue and I'd run upstairs and I would jiggle and I just felt very not good about myself so my goal was 200 and I've been at 190 for around a month now, so I'm happy about that. It's very painful. Um, I, I've found a couple ways to mitigate it, but it's just, it's very not great. Um, honestly, boxer briefs, like really new boxer briefs, like they have to be very, like over time they lose their elasticity. If you um, just bought them and they're like super cling to your body, that'll prevent that from happening. But after like, uh, I don't they wear out, you know? And after a while it stops helping. Um, that's like, that's probably the best solution if you don't mind buying underwear constantly. Um, deodorant is another one that someone suggested to me that it, it didn't help quite as much as having two layers of fabric between your thighs, but it still helped a bit. Keeps down on the um, the sweating because the sweating causes sticking, more friction. It just um, helps with the friction, you know. But yeah, it's incredibly painful. I would walk. Um, a few miles to we've only got two items so far doing this we've done we've got like five treasure rooms in the same two items how is this happening um sure at this point i'm yeah fine um yeah it's like um I, i'd walk multiple miles to work and then multiple miles home and by the time i get like to work or home i would leave it would be like very painful. Sometimes bleeding, it would just be really bad. So yeah, that was... You know, working on losing weight. Honestly, I'm still not a huge fan of my body, but... Objectively, I have to put numbers on it, you know? Because I've got to think, as much as I don't like myself, no matter what I weigh, I'm still not going to like myself. So that can't be my unit of measurement. I can't be like, I need to lose weight until I like myself, because that's just not going to happen. So i got to put a number on it. Honestly, I said um, we would accept this item, but honestly, this is a um, good item. I'm a fan of it anyway. Thank you, Big. Yeah, it, it, it's satisfying. Um, it is due largely in, in part to now I live so far out in the middle of nowhere, and I don't drive. Oh my god, this just, just, there we go. 
And I don't drive, so it's like, um... No fast food for me, ever. Rarely. Very rarely. And that helped more than I'd like to admit, because like I said, I love fast food. It just makes my heart happy, and honestly, you, you have depression like I do. It's just nice to be able to get serotonin from somewhere. But, you know, it still happens. It's just more of a, 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 a treat now than it used to be. Whereas I'll get really sad, and while I lived in a town with fast food, the town I lived in also didn't have a grocery store. The grocery store was, um, the nearest grocery store was about a 20 minute drive, so you can imagine how long of a walk that was. So it's not that I didn't want to cook for myself, I just didn't have the option to get groceries. So, fast food. And that adds up, you know, you, you, you eat out multiple times a week and it's just like, not very great. Delicious serotonin. Exactly. I try to make good, good choices though. I, well, I make terrible choices, but like, as far as dietary concerns go, I try to make good choices. Uh, I mean, this run I'm really kind of not feeling right now, but we're gonna see. Let's fight the boss and see how it goes anyway. Also synergize with our dim bulb trinket. If nothing else, getting that dim bulb a stat upgrade for a boss fight is going to be very helpful. It'll only proc every several rooms, and honestly, not even that because we're going to want to hold on to it to make sure we have that buff for the boss run. But, um, nothing wrong with that. Getting a, um, substantial stat upgrade for the boss fight, that's nice. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, god, this is rough because I, I bet I know where the secret room is, but I don't want to waste the bomb because it would be, like... Uh, maybe. I don't know. You know what? We're not going to find out. It's, it's going to remain a mystery. Don't want to waste my bomb. It's alright. I do love cooking. At some point in the future, I had so much fun hanging out with you guys doing that cooking stream thing. I was going to do it again. In fact, um, I, I had mentioned it on Discord about like funny novelty cookbooks. Um, I, I have looked up all of the recipes I would need to do a stream based on the cookbooks you guys thought looked good. I just, you know, it takes a lot of, um, man, I'm, I'm very not good at doing things. It, it, it's, diff it's difficult to make yourself do things when you just want to die constantly, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I had such a fun time doing it. And I did, um, make that cooking stream thumbnails, I mean dying to use that. Probably not a great choice of words, all things all things considered, but you know. That's why we have Yikes be in the Discord. Yep. Makes it difficult to do things, but you know, we still do things. We're obligated to do things, that's, you know, part of being alive. It does sound fun though. Uh, I, I did the vote and by a good margin the, the two that you guys thought sounded good were the um, cookbook for sluts and um, Mountain Dew cookbook. And actually um, 
cookbook for sluts didn't I, I looked it up the recipes are very not like you'd think with a title like that the the recipes would be like zesty spicy or at the very least interesting they really weren't it's just a a funny name for a regular cookbook so that was disappointing so what I did is since a lot of you guys wanted Mountain Dew anyway I picked out several Mountain Dew recipes and I'm probably gonna narrow it down but do like I did three of them last time you do like um, a dessert and then two others right so that's the goal gonna pick out three Mountain Dew recipes for you guys. But, but let it be said, I am almost dead. I, I gotta pay more attention to the game instead of talking about Mountain Dew. Um, no, but let it be said that the Mountain Dew cookbook is also very misleading. Like, I'm gonna call it out because having looked at it, like, I know I illegally downloaded it, and I didn't pay for it, and you know, maybe that wasn't good of me to do, but at the same time, having looked at those recipes, only some of them actually have Mountain Dew in them. And they, they get out away with that because um, each recipe in that book either says made with Mountain Dew, or paired with Mountain Dew, which is their sneaky way of saying, yeah, you, you should probably drink Mountain Dew with this. So the recipes themselves don't have any Mountain Dew in them. They, they're just saying you should have Mountain Dew on the side, which feels like they're cheating. Ouch. Like, doesn't it feel like they're cheating if they're branding it as a Mountain Dew cookbook? So I'm a little upset about that, but you know. Like I said, I got, I mean, I, I didn't pay for the book, so I guess, like... I, like, I personally can't be mad, but I feel like I should warn anyone out there who, who feels so inclined to buy the Mountain Dew cookbook. That, yeah, it's, it has that going on. benefit of we can summon Plum for the boss fight, but also in doing so we activate our Dim Bulb Trinket giving us a substantial stat upgrade. And actually the stat upgrade for the Dim Bulb I believe is even better than the Bright Bulb. So that's helpful. Lovely. Damage and health, and then we got the other health upgrade from that Eternal Heart. So that's nice. Tempted to go into that curse room, but let's hold on to these soul hearts for the time being. Because we really, an angel room would absolutely just seal the deal for us. Being said though, I just now recognize that the sleeping pills I took are probably kicking in. There's, you know, you feel a certain way when you take sleeping pills. Let me tell you all about it. You get a little... I mean, at first you just start getting really spacey, like you have a hard time focusing. And that's the first sign. 
Oh my, you get dizzy and disoriented real quick. If nothing else, I'm just having trouble focusing on the game. So this is, I'm, I'm gonna warn you guys, I'm about to start playing worse. So I apologize for that. Though in the soul heart, like we just took a half heart of damage, and we're getting a whole heart. And don't get me wrong, I wish I didn't do that, but you know, I was so excited. You ever get excited and you get hurt by like a worm monster? Just now noticing it has one eye, so I'm not sure if it's a penis joke. Probably, all things considered. Ouch. Okay. Just, um, although I, I would have normally held on to it, but I was very not confident in clearing out that room without them hitting me. And we just started this floor, so I've got to think we're going to charge it up. I mean, there's, there's just no way we're not going to clear out three more rooms by the time we bump into the boss. That's, that's not happening. just to not take any red heart damage, so yeah, soul heart's very important. There's a um, new challenge here that is very glitchy, and if I tried telling you about it, I wouldn't do it justice, but anyone who's tried it knows about it. And I ended up with an item that has zero charge, so I could just use it as often as I wanted, just immediately. Um, but it summons, it, it had the effect of this um, flute every time. So like, um, I would just have 10 plums in the room. Really the only limitation was, I was worried the game was gonna crash. It's a very fun challenge. It's just, um, the best way to lure them is to let them follow closely behind you. And with those explosive shots they have, that's just not doable. So it's a little more tricky to lure these guys around. Especially in a room like this where they can close in on you on all sides, and there's just no way to avoid them at that point. The kind of, um... The 
kind of situation where you need to think several steps ahead, not just where you're going now to avoid damage, but where that will place you, and then what you'll need to do then, because if you dodge the enemies now and end up in a situation where you can't dodge at all, it doesn't help you at all. Words, sorry, I, I told you my brain's getting foggy. You, you gotta think several steps ahead, right? Not put yourself in a situation where you're screwed. You could be as good at dodging as you want. Um, it's not as important as just making smart decisions. Put yourself in a situation where you don't have to dodge, you know? Say that about um, Gungeon all the time. Oh well. Right, no map. Could you knock it off, please? C could you knock it off, please? It's not great, we lost all of our soul hearts. Um, darn. Cool, cool, cool. Um, well, at this point, we already we just spawned the Devil Room, so now we can, like, obviously we don't want to take a ton of damage, but now we don't have to worry about taking Red Heart damage like we just were. So now, we, if we do get hurt, it's not the end of the world. We can heal back up. We did what we set out to do. We um, opened that Devil Room. through here aimlessly without a map, but yeah, I guess we could continue. Well, 
actually, hold on. Sagittarius I got from basement one. Am I missing a treasure room on this floor? I can't remember if we're missing a treasure room or not. So I guess let's wander around until we bump into the treasure room. We did find the treasure room, okay. Alright, so that was, so it must have been the treasure on floor two I, I wasn't a fan of. Seems like it. Whatever that was. Yeah, seems like it. Because the flute, the meat, and the health upgrade were boss items. Sagittarius and the spore thing were treasure items, so yeah, I probably just didn't get down with whatever was on floor two. Or something, I don't know, my, my brain is funky right now. Apologize. Well, start telling people when they ask me why I'm doing this um, that my controller's broken I think that would be well not funny but I kind of want to do it anyway Imagine your controller being broken this badly, and then still insisting on just playing the game anyway, like, it, like it, it's fine, we'll make do. I love that idea. It's the right way to- thank you. I appreciate you for that. I mean, if we're being fair, it is. It's, I mean, yeah, like, it, it is. <sighs> Ouch. Sir? Ouch. Stop it. Get some help. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Wait, hold on, there are, there are other directions? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, 
mean, alright, if you're gonna be a shill for Big Left, taking money under the table from, from the up industry, I suppose. Listen, I don't tell you... I don't tell you how to play your games. They have a little bit of health we can donate. If you can't compete, you can't eat. And you know eat rhymes with sweet. And I'm gorgeous over here, boy. We honeybees over here. Thank you, Big. We are honeybees. And that's very important to remember. You keep that in mind. You keep that in the hip hip pocket, you know, ready to bust out at a party. What does that mean? I don't know. Appreciate it. But, but yes, thank you. Whip. Ouch. The issue with this guy is, um, ideally you want to shoot him from up or down because if you stand, you can only do that vomit left or right. So you, you usually just don't want to stand left or right of him. I don't have that option. Are you implying that cargo shorts aren't hip? Because I'll disagree with you. What if you want your shorts to carry something through the Panama Canal? You're gonna need cargo shorts. Oops. Still can't tell you why I'm like this, but you know, just, I, I don't know. I mean, but now people are super into, like, retro stuff, so I guess, like, if anything, your, your clothes are more in fashion now than ever. Because there was one pill in the shop that um, was that pill, and I was tempted to buy it. So I'd rather take a bad pill for free than pay for it.
inflicted by that. One more soul heart, please. Not asking for much, just, you know, a soul heart would be great. Or another one, I suppose. That's unfortunate. That's even worse. My door just got blocked. There we go. I mean, with that stat upgrade, I'd rather be able to skip the womb too, I suppose. Um, yeah. Yeah. I say things out uh, out loud before I think about them, and then I and then I take an opportunity to think of the thing I just said was accurate. It's a terrible way to do things, but. I've got no say in the matter. Shots does help, um, do help tremendously for this room. Save me. Not happy about this. It's really just you did nothing to that boss, did you? You did nothing to that boss. And for me, it over here. It is going to be helpful in that I got piercing shot. That's going to make the, the second part of this fight much easier. It's just if if the heart doesn't leave that that wall, there's nothing I can do. Just kind of randomly floats around and if it doesn't get any closer. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Whip, whip, whip. Oh, that sucks. Oh, darn. That's unfortunate. But you know, we just do the best we can. making my life difficult. Oh man. I just really wanted that angel room. But you know, we got another chance on the next floor, so that's... So when you take exactly one hit, that's, that's disappointing. Same is true for Gungeon. You missed the um, master round just because you uh, screwed up and got hit once. We got plenty of health and we got some decent items. Oh. Uh, Okay. Well. No real clean way to do that. Another health upgrade. Um, we can 
snag that soul heart. We need a little more money. Oh, this is also not a very ideal room. But it could be worse. Motorheads are just irritating, I find. Oh my. Ouch. Okay. Starting to think I should leave before we just take any more damage. Nope, we haven't found the treasure room yet. Can't do that. That's fine. You can take damage, it's not the end of the world. here is just the worst. He doesn't even have um, anything good he can give you. Like gluttony can give you a health upgrade. Lust can give you the virus, which let's be fair isn't good either, but she can also give you like uh, pills. Envy gives you nothing good. Tinted Rock. Let's see if we can snag another bomb. is really nice sometimes. Accept that as a win. Got another soul heart we can snag there. So yeah, the two and a half soul hearts. That's you know what? That's a win. That is a victory. Had no guarantee. I mean. If we were lucky that that tinted rock was going to give us two soul hearts, so we, we pulled that off. Yeah. 
That's actually, I will accept that as a win. Let's continue. Bombs out of the situation. Tent to drop. Hold off on that until we get hit again. Ooh, see, even man, things are going all right. Whip, whip, whip. Okay. Plum. Oh man, you're you're saving my bacon. So thank you for my bacon, Plum. situation here is just to get over to the left side of the room, yeah. And I shouldn't be able to take any damage if I stand here. If you're a room full of these guys, the, the trick is just to, um, they follow very specific patterns. You have to just figure out where exactly in the room they can't go. This is a good visual aid because you see the red they leave shows you their trail, so spots like here, there's nothing they could have done to me. Expected. Like I said, we left um, some soul hearts lying around just for that reason. It's lovely that we have them. Right, can't shoot through that. That's fine. room we just focus on dodging and hold down the shoot button. If we don't take damage, eventually they will die. There we go. Prioritize dodging. They're not smart enough to dodge, so eventually you'll kill them. treasure room yet though, so let's go for that. Assuming we don't take any red heart damage, it should be guaranteed um, an angel room will spawn. Which is what you want really, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's very important, thank you for that. Nice to have stuff to look forward to. So that's exciting. And if we're going to be going into the mom fight and we can't leave anyway, I may as well 
use that curse room and grab this soul heart here. Because otherwise the soul heart's gonna go to waste. I can't pick it up. So we may as well, you know, okay. So no harm done, we ended up at just a net even. You know, take advantage, like if we're going to leave stuff behind anyway, you may as well take advantage of um, all of your resources. Okay, let's hopefully do good against mom. Apologize, let's hopefully do well against mom, there we go. Whoop. Well, I mean, you kill a bad person, I guess that would be doing good. Like, because you can do good. Superman does good. Ouch. Okay, you know, all of a sudden that's just not going well. Don't know why I didn't summon Plum. I just, you know, I'm not thinking that's why. Example of me keeping my word. Are, are you sure? I mean, I would. Pretty sure that's fatal. Typically does fix things, doesn't it? Whoop. Man, knock it off. Stop! Yeah. My goodness. Well, that's unfortunate. It's all around unfortunate, just all, all bad. Because now we don't have any soul hearts, we're just... Man, we were so close to getting that angel room. It's too bad. And now we're about to, like, we went from being in a really good situation to now we're about to die. And then Miles jumped on my desk. Hi, sweetie. That's Miles being a sweetie. I love him. He doesn't purr as loudly as Ellie does, though. Doesn't doesn't mean anything. He's just not a loud purr. He's still a sweetheart. Miles, no, no. I think we're either going to beat the heart or die within the next 15 minutes. So see, I'm right on schedule. That 
mom fight was very embarrassing though, wasn't it? Very nearly took damage there, which would have just been the funniest thing in, in the world. damage there because of luck. Almost, um, I mean, I did run over the creep. I was just exactly in the right spot where I didn't, like, um, there was a tiny gap in it. So yeah, luck. I accept luck. Sometimes you live because of luck. Is this a labyrinth? Because this is a very big looking floor. Oh, meany, meany. Those two. I said if you space it properly. I'm drowsy does slow you down too now. That's interesting. I love that. It's about time it got nerfed. Ouch. But yeah, if it, um... It, uh, you space it just exactly right, you can do 5x5, five five, so you can take out both of these. And for that, I'm going to... Um, go into that room and then place the bomb, because that should put me exactly, perfectly in, in the middle. You know? Really? Enemy's not cheap or anything. It's always irritating because like he'll pop up right right underneath you and there's just not oh my god, fine. That's alright. We got a clear today. We're still making progress, you know? I don't know how many heart kills that was to unlock Epic Hack, but we gotta be getting close. And then we're going to go after Hush, which I have no idea how that's going to go because we've got to not only kill it lives within 30 minutes, then we just have to kill Hush and that's just going to be, we're going to see. That very well could be the hardest part of this whole thing. I'd be, wouldn't be surprised if it was. 
but we'll see how that goes. Big, I appreciate you. MX dipped out a while back. Um, B as well, I believe. But uh, you guys are all great. And thank you for hanging out like you do. I go do medicine stuff, and hopefully I see you guys around, right? Yeah. 